we're back. This is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org. Day three, HP Discover Las Vegas 2013. SiliconANGLE TV, wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, scour the industry, go to all the key tech events. You know it's a big event when theCUBE is there. And uh, at HP, we're talking to uh, focus on, on partners here. Uh, so uh, for this segment, I've got John Prego, uh, and uh, Jeff Strathatis, both with F5, who, uh, gentlemen, I, I heard you guys are the Cloud Partner of the Year, so first of all, congratulations. That's Tell correct. us a little bit about uh, why, why F5 earned that. Sure, and uh, to back up a little bit, we've, we've been a partner of uh, HP's for almost over a decade, and in uh, 2006, we became a uh, alliance partner, uh, officially, and uh, this year it culminates in a, uh, a Cloud uh, Partner of the Year award based on our joint delivery of a BDI as a private cloud implementation, so it was pretty exciting. Okay, so is that like desktop as a service? Yes, or? Okay. yes, that's correct. Uh, and uh, how does that delivery mechanism happen then? Where, where does that sit in uh, kind of cloud partners and uh, service providers and the like? <laughs> oh, Jeff Zatatos can talk about the, the technicalities, yeah. Okay. So what we did was we took, um, and we, we acted basically as the glue for the BDI solution. It was a, a private cloud. Uh, it brought in uh, technology services, brought in enterprise services. Uh, it also took together HP storage, HP networking, uh, and uh, was able to take uh, all of that and build it together into a single solution and deliver this to a customer that uh, really needed the solution. We eliminated a much, many of the hurdles that they had in the solution. And then we were able to replicate that to uh, a number of different organizations as well uh, and allowed uh, HP to see a, a significant opportunity uh, come together by bringing all of those uh, pieces together. Uh, great, you know, one of the things that when I think of F5 that comes to me is really, it's kind of that application delivery and those services that sit on top. Uh, I have to think that things like, you know, cloud and the whole software-defined meme that's going on, uh, you know, it ha has an impact underneath what you guys are doing, but maybe you can talk a little bit about as to how these uh, trends in the industry are affecting F5. Sure, absolutely. We are keeping an eye on all these trends and working with HP to make sure we're, we're working together to satisfy the demands that are coming from our client base. And cloud, certainly, SDN and OpenStack, those are all elements that we want to make sure our architecture is flexible enough to support. And, and we're spending a lot of time and effort with HP there. Uh, we think those trends will continue. They're driving a lot of our, our uh, demand from our customer base. Um, as you probably know, we own about 43% of the uh, application delivery networking marketplace. We own fi over 50% of the advanced marketplace where all these things are happening. Um, and that's driving us along with data consolidation and along with the security phenomenon, which is, as you know, is becoming more and more prevalent. We address those things in complement to HP's strategies in the network, but across their different uh, platforms. Yeah, and I'm wondering if you could speak to uh, kind of how your uh, your your go-to-market is changing. Uh, you know, appliances or some of what you've had, or you know, the kind of virtual appliances. You yes. Know, how, how does that fit into kind of you know, the network virtualization feature thing? Sure. How absolutely. much of delivery is on software only versus uh, you know a full bundled solution? It's a it's a growing. Uh, section of our of our demand, uh, we have the broadest portfolio of uh, virtual edition uh, 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 software in the, in the industry for our ADN marketplace, and we continue to see that grow. That gives us the flexibility to allow customers to deploy in any environment, whether it's the traditional enterprise or extended into the uh, app, you know the app the uh, uh, cloud uh, environment. So, so Jeff, I'm, I'm guessing maybe you can walk us through just architecturally what, what's the transition? You know, how is that ha playing out in data centers around the world? Absolutely. So, what, what we're finding is um, our historical model has been an appliance-based solution, and what we've seen is the market go in basically two different directions from a from a carrier perspective, looking for a multi-tenant solution. We've provided a Viprion solution, it's chassis-based. It allows the customer to to grow and expand as they need to. Uh, Large enterprises take advantage of that. And then on the other direction, what we're finding is from a software perspective, is as uh, these hypervisors continue to, to grow in their functionality and expand in their capabilities, uh, we've grown our portfolio to support that as well. And what we've done is provided this virtual edition <coughs> functionality that really uh, allows customers to, to deploy our solutions uh, more broadly. Uh, we've, uh, we've just provided a, a technology called Big IQ. And what that does is allows uh, customers to interface with our solution, deploy these virtual editions out on uh, regular hardware, uh, 
take advantage of HP servers, deploy them out on, on uh, their cloud environment. And then <clears throat> on top of that, taking things like cloud system and cloud services automation and some of the work that we've done automating the, the deployment of that using operations orchestration to really take advantage from an operational perspective, deployment, and, and be able to uh, really deliver these applications much quicker uh, than they've historically been able to do. Yeah, it's interesting. Some of the uh, kind of rumblings when I hear some of the, the networking transformations is people have seen F5's dominance in the market for so long, and that's an attractive revenue stream. So, you know, you guys are obviously aren't standing still. You're aware of the threat there, and, you, and you're moving towards that's uh, toward, towards what's happening there. Last year, we, we announced uh, here on Wikibon, uh, we uh, basically publicly uh, talked about some of the stuff that we had announced at Interop. Uh, in 2012, and we talked about the software-defined networking, the virtual application networking functionality that we were working with HP Networking. And the idea was with our IAP te technology, taking layers four through seven, building on their IMC platform for layers two and three, and providing layers two through seven to customers and being able to automate that. And so one of the things that we're delivering now is if you look at the latest version of IMC, some of the integrated work that we're now delivering on that vision that we cast over a year ago. And by the end of this year, we're looking to be able to expand on that functionality to really drive those applications and the delivery of those applications to customers uh, quicker and faster in, in the, the vision that we had cast over a year ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if you could give us a little color. You know, when we talk about moving to these new models of deployment, it's not only about just being cheaper or, or right. easier to deploy, but you know, what new business value can customers create with it, or what can they do now that they couldn't before? Well, bringing these applications on quicker allows customers to recognize that, that uh, return on investment quicker. So if they're spending weeks and months investing in these applications to get them online, that's wasted time that they can't recognize the value of those applications. So one of the, the value propositions that we provide is being able to take these applications, bring them online quicker, which allows them to bring additional uh, applications online and therefore being able to recognize the revenue that's uh, potentially associated with those, as well as improving the workflow and the uh, productivity of customers uh, when they deploy these applications. All right. so, so John, uh, other, other than winning the award here at the show, you've been having you know, good customer interaction, you know, what, what, what flavor can you give us? Very good uh, customer interaction. We've also seen this amazing uh, 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 pace to the, to the crowds, and, and I think you guys are, are doing a great job in terms of come back strong in terms of providing the value your clients are asking for. So, it's been very exciting. You can tell this from last year, the, the amount of people, the excitement in the crowd, and, and all the uh, solutions you're presenting, especially in these areas we're talking about. Yeah, uh, it's interesting. I'm wondering, you know, with the kind of the, the converged cloud, the converged infrastructure kind of restructure, seems like it's pivoting even closer to where you guys fit in the marketplace. Absolutely, we're, we're very excited about the work we're doing with all the areas of HP, but especially in the converged area. All right, so uh, you know it, it's still relatively early. We, we like to use sports analogies here. I'm not sure, yeah. but, you know, which, which one's your favorite sports. But we're not going to talk about the hockey from last night. We're but not. Let, let's take baseball as an easy thing. You know, where are we in this adoption of the new paradigm? Are, are the pitchers still warming up on the mound, or in the first or second inning, or you know, are we, we in the kind of halfway there? You know, I, I think I think we're still in the early stages. Right. Uh, if you look at the adoption, uh, much of what is still needing uh, our API adoptions. Uh, formalization of some of the uh, the programs and the and the APIs and the uh, technology in order to solidify really the direction and the, and the boundaries through through which we're going to deliver some of this stuff. So still early on, I think uh, the adoption rate is going to be quick. Uh, as soon as we get some of these hurdles uh, completed, uh, from my perspective, I think it's going to be a, a relatively quick ramp up, and and we'll get to the ninth inning and. and Time yeah, uh, uh, quickly. Great, great, great point about kind of that, that API support. It, more and more, we're having platform discussions whether we're talking big data and what HP announced here with right. Haven, or if you look at like what OpenStack's doing. Are, are you guys involved in the OpenStack picture? Is that something you're working with HP on and contributing to? We, we are uh, supporting OpenStack. We will support OpenStack and through our, uh, we mentioned our big IQ platform. So, and we are in discussion with HP, of course. Okay. So, Especially HP networking. So, Jeff, uh, I, last question I want to have for you is, you, you know, you, you get down in the weeds on some of this. What, what's the coolest technology you, you've seen this week other than what F5's got here? Wow, um, you know, just from uh, one of the values and the benefits of coming to a show like this is you get an opportunity to really look at some of the, the cutting edge technology, get an opportunity to share and, and speak with uh, some of the innovators from the CTOs and, and really find out uh, really where things are going. I think from uh, 
uh, today HP announced their cloud OS. Uh, I think what, what HP is doing from a cloud perspective, uh, certainly with our winning partner of the year in the cloud computing uh, area, uh, really looking forward to, to how um, they've cast that vision and how we can leverage what they're doing and, and tie into what they're doing. And, and I think from a cloud perspective, kind of a generic term and, and all encompassing, but I think being able to bring all of that together, looking at all of the technologies that HP can bring together that they own as a piece of that, but then also their dependency on the open standards that that provides, uh, to me is really exciting. All right, and, and John, I'm wondering if I'll put you on the spot here, you know, uh, people get excited about the technology, unfortunately, kind of the macroeconomic state right. have kind of been depressing this couple of years. What, the people that own the budget, you know, what, 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 what's their attitude? Are they seeing new opportunities that, you know, they keep kind of the CapEx flat and, and can adjust things, you know? How, how are the economic situation, what well, you're hearing? Well, there's two areas that, I, that have uh, caught my attention here is one is how much progress you've made with big data. It's very exciting, um, your solutions in that space, and we're also working with you in that space. The other one is security. That is one that is trumping all economic you know, issues, and the fact is companies need to address that, and that's another area where you guys are in the forefront also, which is very exciting. You, 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 guys, you mean HP, of course. HP, yes. Yeah, so, 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 so absolutely, uh, we, we are keeping a close eye on all these trends. Um, John, I just want to give you the last word, I guess. You yeah. know, take away, you know, when people think about the, the HP, you know, F5 relationship partner of the year, you know, where, where do you go from here? Well, we continue to build on, on what we've done and continue to add new solutions uh, together. And I think focusing on open solutions for our clients is, is really the, uh, the key area. So. Okay. Yeah, uh, open technology, flexibility, definitely some of the key themes we're hearing, yeah. you know, from Dave Donatelli, Tom Joyce, all down through the organization. Uh, obviously, you know, openness and everything that they're doing. Uh, big data, cloud, software defined everything here. Uh, John and Jeff, thank you so much for uh, coming on theCUBE here. Appreciate you, you sharing with our, our community what's going on. Uh, this is Silicon Angle's live independent coverage of HP Discover 2013. And we'll be back with our next guest right after this brief break. Thank you.